hey guys welcome back to my channel so I am super excited because I'm finally filming the video that I've been looking forward to filming for like ever so on launch day I purchased the Francation palette as well as the highlighter in Fuego from Dose of Colors which is the Desi and Katie collaboration and this has just been sitting here waiting for me to film i haven't touched it swatched it did nothing with it and i am finally excited to be sitting here and showing you guys so i'm going to be doing some swatches as well as a tutorial with the palette so if it's something that you want to see and find out how it performs then keep on watching this is the highlighter that i purchased it is in fuego and on the back you will see it is vegan cruelty free gluten free and talc free which i freaking love this oh my god look at the packaging so beautiful so beautiful and then of course they do have a little protector over top of the dose of colors so you just peel that off and this is what the color looks like so this is what the front looks like and you do have the name of the eyeshadows on the back of the eyeshadow palette which is pretty awesome so this is but no flash and as you can see that first shade is doesn't show up too well on my skin tone but it is more of I would say a starter shade just to kind of set whatever primer concealer you put on your face just to start your base and then there is the other, this is the whole top row of the eyeshadow palette. This is the colors with flash. shade in which I believe is girl by just seems a little bit patchy but the way they perform on the eyes is what is most important sometimes swatches on the arm isn't the most accurate so we will see <laughs> I do want to swatch quick the Fuego highlighter just to see how this looks. I'm excited to see if. Oh my god, yes. It has that like wet metallic look, which I freaking love in a highlighter. I love when highlighters look wet more than they look powdery. It's just more flattering to me. Gorgeous. All right, so for the fun part, let's just see how these colors perform on the eyes. So let's get into the tutorial. So I already have my base done. The only thing I do not have on my face is anything on my eyes, except for some primer and highlighter since we are going to be going in with Fuego. So in the eyeshadow palette, the first color I'm going to use is Basic, which is the shade right here. I'm just going to place that all over the eyelid just to kind of set whatever primer or concealer you put down on the eye. That way your colors and your eyeshadow doesn't stick to anything. It kind of just makes everything smooth and even. I'm super excited to play with this. It's been sitting here since I got it and I haven't gotten around to filming this video and now i'm finally able to super excited so the next shade i'm going to go into for my transition shade is necessary which is right here and i do have the palette flipped upside down just so that we don't get blinded with the lights but i'm just going to go into that color right here and just put that in my crease and i'm just going to use that just to help everything transition nicely And then we're just gonna softly blend that up, but not too high. You don't want it where you would normally put your brow bone highlight, which is kind of in the middle from the crease and in the middle of your brow bone. And there's not too much kickback either. 
in the palette which is really really nice so it's not flying everywhere all right so next i'm going to dip into this shade right here which is churro and i'm kind of just going to put that in my crease but a little bit lower than where we started the transition shade <laughs> color that I'm going to go into is Girl By, which is this shade right here. Which, all these colors look super pigmented. And I'm just placing that right on top of the other colors that I put. And I'm just going to blend because I want this color specifically to stand out in the whole look. And I'm just going to blend that into the first transition shade that we put down. And I'm not switching brushes. I'm just using the same brush. And as you can see, I'm not having much fallout at all. So putting down churro first and then putting this on top is just giving me a deeper look versus just putting down girl by and then i'm just going to blend that up into the transition shade just for it to get that faded out look and so i'm going to take a different blending brush and just dip right back into necessary which is that first tra transition shade that we used and i'm just going to go right back to the top and just kind of use that to buff out the edges. <laughs> and I'm just going to go back into the same brush I was using from the beginning, whatever product that's left on it, just to deepen up again. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Game Over, which is this color right here, and I'm going to put that on the outer um, portion of my lid. So I am going to use a flat brush for this. I'm just going to tap into this shade right here. And we'll see how it applies without wetting the brush. which is try me love the names of these shades and we're just going to use that on the inner portion and i feel like this look now this look is a little dramatic it is for maybe a night out but i feel like with the pink and this dark color on the darker color on the outer edge of the eyelid i just feel like it's like a like a just a sexy valentine's day look but it's definitely for a night out.
colors are placed, I'm just going to take whichever flat brush that you used for the, either the pink or the color um, game over. Then you can just kind of pat in the middle just so that way you're like blending the colors together and they're not, the line isn't so harsh. <laughs> go into the shade cheers which is the shade right here which is right next to the basic and I'm just gonna dab into that kick off the excess and just go right into that crease and just use this shade to just blend everything together and I really want this look to be just smoked out so I am going almost all the way in not to the inner corner I'm stopping Oh, I'm placing that color right there. I don't want to bring this color too high. I just want to keep it right in the crease, like right in the eye socket. And then I'm going to take the, the blending brush that we were using in the beginning. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to put any product on it. I'm just going to go right where the edge of that dark brown which was mm, jeans I said cheers it's jeans I do apologize but right where jeans ends we're going to just blend I'm just doing swiper motions just to blend that really good now because the darker brown and the glitters do have some fallout and some kickback so I would recommend for the sake of the video I wanted to do the full face first and then do the eyeshadow palette but in the future if I would use this palette which I'm loving the palette so far um, I will do my eyes first and then do foundation and everything later that way I'm not constantly just wiping away or of course you can put some setting powder but it is going all the way down to like my nose and around this area so unless you want to put setting powder all over your face but I already did like the cheeks and the glow and everything you know like the, not the highlight but I did put like a glowy blush on so I didn't want to like matte it out um, <clears throat> but in the future I would definitely recommend just doing your eyes first and then doing your, your the rest of your makeup later and then you don't have to worry about the fallout you can just take a wipey clean it up and then finish the rest of your makeup all right so for my lower lash line I'm gonna go in I want to show you the names instead of the color so I am going to go into churro which is this color right here and I'm just gonna use an elf pencil brush it out now this does smoke it out pretty low but I'm okay with that look if you don't want your lower lash line to be smoked out so far then you could just keep it a little bit more tighter to the lash line so that way when you're blending it doesn't go out so it doesn't go down so far All right, so for my brow bone highlight, I'm just gonna do what I mentioned at the beginning, what I usually do. I am just going to go in to basic, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to highlight the top of my bone with that color. I love doing this trick because if some reason your eyeshadow gets too high, this kind of works as an eraser and it just lightens that part back up again. I 
And then for inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in with the highlighter that I got from them, which is Fuego. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. like that. I'm not going to put on lashes. You can put on lashes if you like. That would definitely make the look pop even more. I'm just going to apply a lot of mascara because I don't want the lashes to just take away from the whole eyeshadow look, which sometimes can happen. So I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm just using the LA Girl Oomph Mascara. This is the first time that I'm using this mascara, so it's not really giving my eyelashes the oomph that I want. It is okay on like a normal mascara day, like that no makeup makeup look, but I do want something a little bit more dramatic since I'm not putting on false lashes. So I'm just going to use the Superhero mascara, mascara from It Cosmetics. Alright, so now that the mascara is on, I'm just going to go into Fuego. Like I didn't add too much. So pretty and love. I do have a little bit of mascara right there, but I'm just waiting for that to dry and then I will wipe that away. I am in love with this highlighter. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. I'm just like dabbing into it. And then it's gonna go down my nose. And then I'm just gonna blend that. I decided to use pink chocolate from Ulta. It is from their nude collection. So, Alright, guys, so this is the final look. <laughs> final thoughts on the I won't say the collection because I don't have the collection but my final thoughts on the highlighter as well as the um, palette I'm in love I'm in love with the, the the highlighter it's just that natural not natural it's not natural it's blinding but it's that like wet blendable um, look it's not like a super chalky or powdery highlighter that you can tell is a fake highlight like you know this is a fake like highlight because it's so blinding, but it's not, you get what I'm saying, it's not like fake, fake looking. So I do love how it actually looks on my skin, how it looked on hers when they were swatching and applying it in their videos and how other people were using it. And the eyeshadow palette, oh my god, this eyeshadow palette is beautiful. Like, not only is the packaging beautiful, which... I will keep this even when the, my pans are empty because of the eyeshadow, because of the packaging, but I just feel like there is just so many looks that you can do with this eyeshadow palette and I am super excited to play. I cannot wait to play with this eyeshadow palette more. The colors were not patchy or anything on my actual eye um, the swatches were a little patchy with I believe it was girl by and churro those two were giving me a little bit of an issue to swatch and even out um, but on the eye they blend smoothly and it just it looks fine if you want to use the shimmer shadows I do recommend wetting your brush doing your eyes first before the rest of your makeup as well as you know maybe putting down some powder if you already did your face do take Take preventative measures when using these glitter eyeshadows because they are very glittery. Um, they're very shimmery, they're very pigmented, and they're beautiful, but you are gonna have some fallout on your face. So just be wary of that. But other than that, I do love the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette was $55. 
and the highlighter was $28. I just love the packaging. It's just, 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 just give me the packaging. Don't even put the product inside. Just give me the packaging. Anyways, guys, this, like I said, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if, let me know down below if you purchased the palette and what you think about it. And also, if there's any specific looks that you want to see with the palette, let me know down below. As well as, please do not forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you do subscribe, hit the little notification bell. That way you do receive notifications every time I upload and you don't miss out. Until next time, guys. Bye.